say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same Lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome back to The Sims 4 Finding Mermaid. When we left off in the previous episode, Shimmer was getting used to her mermaid body and of course adventuring out a little bit and using her powers on people she probably should not be using them on. Well, we tried out the siren school previously on a co-worker and that was pretty interesting. I have a feeling if you do that a couple of times they might actually drown to death. And I'm quite excited about the possibilities of mermaids because, as you guys know, this series is actually an experimentation, a study into the biology of mermaids and how they work for a future series focusing around the fantasy that I might have. Right, okay. Shima is pretty much still in the ocean. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's amazing. I love it. She's kind of just doing her own thing around the ocean. Her feeling, uh, not feeling, what am I saying? Her needs are pretty good. Which means we can send it to do whatever we want. Whatever we want. And who's this? Oh look, it's Fetu over there. But Vea is over here as well. And since he's a co-worker, I feel like their views might align and meet somewhat. Now I haven't exactly visioned her with anyone yet. And I don't vision her with anyone. But I just feel as though maybe... Um, if she tries, she might see something with someone. So I feel like she should maybe make more of an effort to speak to Vea, perhaps? I don't know how this is going to pan out, everyone. I mean, we've finished everything we need to do for our job, but she's, like, got really good energy. So we might as well speak to him. I don't know how he feels about talking to a mermaid, but we'll have to see. He keeps wanting to leave. Why do you want to leave us? Why? Can we ask him if it's a, if he's a mermaid? Maybe we need to ask um, Fetu while we are a mermaid. Because then he would trust us, right? I don't know, we'll have to see. We will have to see. But okay. Oh, and she wants to grill some chicken! Finally something! That, that means that she doesn't want to go ahead and, and do mean stuff. I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, well, she's not getting any flirtatious sort of stuff over here, which for my sims, not all the time, but I kind of like to think of this menu that comes up immediately as what's on their mind or what they would say without encouragement. Okay, who's Kalama? I don't know. Kalama is someone. Where are you going? He's going. Okay, so I don't think he wants to chat anymore. Where was Fetu? Fetu was somewhere swimming around over here. Fetu! Where'd you go? I don't know where Fetu went. Hmm. Yeah, he disappeared somewhere. Oh well. She wants to grill chicken. He's... Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. I was like, wait, since when did we have a grill? And then I realized that wasn't our house. Right, okay. Let's just... Let's just casually move away, shall we? Because we live over here. Wait a second. Where do we live? Oh my goodness, you went really far. Shim, we live here. Okay, let's see. Is there anyone we could perhaps speak to? Um, no? Well, this has gone off, so she's going to clean this up and grill some chicken because she wishes to do that. So we're going to grill some chicken. And then, oh, she was speaking to Kalama. Hi there, Kalama. Really? You're, you're not hiding the fact you're a mermaid all too well, I must say. You're kind of flashing it everywhere. Ah, luckily, you are probably the evilest sim on the island, so we don't have to worry about anyone trying to sell you out to anything or anyone. Right, she's going to go grill up some chicken. And look at this beautiful beach. Look at the little, 
little the sand cow plants. So cute. Okay, before she does that, actually, there's a conch shell. Let's blow this. Maybe if we blow it as a mermaid, something something drastic will happen. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try blowing this. Will anyone approach? There's no one nearby, is the thing. Can we blow the conch? Oh my goodness, guys. I didn't realize this. We can actually blow the conch in a public area. Well, what am I waiting for? Okay, hold on a second. Let's clean this up. She's not hungry, so maybe I won't grill the chicken yet. I'll get her to clean that up, and then we're going to head off to a public spot, and we are going to use that. We are going to use that. Hold on, is there? No, okay, no one's up here. Also, apparently events run in this spot over here, but because there's no notifications for them, I actually don't know anything about those events. We have never even attended an event. Which is pretty crazy, because Shima is halfway through her life living here. She's got eight days before she ages up into an adult. And I kind of feel like she should try and find love if possible. I do want her to have offspring at some stage. Ah... <sighs> But I don't know, we'll have to see. And as far as I know with the mermaid thing, there's a 50% chance for each parent of that gene passing down onto the child. So, yeah. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens though. We're gonna go off to where that eating spot is and hopefully there's a few people there and we can blow our conch shell and see if, like, anyone actually is a mermaid. Here we go! We're just gonna be blowing conch shells everywhere. Nope, no mermaids here. We might just have to go to a bar. Yep, I think we're gonna go to the bar. We are going to visit the bar. Oh, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. No, 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 no. I swear she's a mermaid. You know that weird fish thing she was doing? Almost like Strangerville, like she was possessed. Yeah. Shima did that. Shima did that the day after she became a mermaid. I stepped her into the flippin', the flippin' bathtub and she got out of it and she did that weird thing and I was like, what's happening? <gasps> was that Meilani? Meilani? Do we know a Meilani? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys. Let me just... Not this Meilani. There was a cute Meilani that we don't know. Oh... <gasps> Darn it. I missed her. I just missed her. Okay. Okay, well, we need to use this over here, and I think that's what we're going to do. I think I have the hang of this, guys. Fetu might not be a mermaid. I think that was just a mislead, but we might actually find someone who is. Now, I'm going to use these conch shells to actually find, and I think now that Shima's a mermaid, she knows what the hell these conch shells actually do. So, let's go ahead and blow this conch shell and see if anyone is inclined to join us. No? Okay, so no one so far is actually... Is this Vea? No, that's a Lecky. Hmm. So, we know that Tamati isn't. Nobody here is. This guy isn't either. H, don't know, but that Melani chick most definitely is. I am so upset that I realized really late, but that Melani chick, she is a mermaid, guys. And I don't even know her, and that frustrates me. Well, is this Veya? Okay, Veya's over here. We have Anel. Interesting. Well, let's let's go outside maybe and blow the conch shell again. Yes, he's very angry and, and that's great and all, but really we have something we want to do. So I'm sorry guy, but we're gonna just step outside for a second. And it's gonna be easier to see who comes towards us if we blow the conch shell. So let's go you I don't think I've shown you guys what it is, but you probably have already seen it in your own gameplay. It's really weird. They do this fishy thing. <laughs> this fish, I don't know how to explain it. They do this odd fishy thing. Okay. 
Well, maybe we need to do it in the actual... Hmm. Maybe we need to do it inside. Maybe we're not close enough. That or nobody here is a mermaid. What are you doing, you silly goofus? Blow the conch shell inside. Ugh. Step inside, and now blow the conch shell. She's probably really sick of this, but I think she's desperate, so she doesn't mind overly. Nope. Okay, a bunch of people are getting up and stuff, but that is the one mermaid we found. There's a cute, adorable little islander by the name of Melani with curly black hair. We need to find her again. And if we find her, then we know we've found the... the she was working there as well. Hmm. Hmm. How to do this? How to do this? Ah, it's rainy outside, so really, I don't think we'd be able to go out or anything. But, actually guys, now that Moapil Arm has cleaned up and all of that, I think they mentioned that some more tourism has started pouring in. And I think as a result, what we might see is a new establishment start over at one of the islands. I don't know if it's going to be Moapil Arm or if it's going to be um, like one of these two islands so that people can go from there to Mopel Arm, but I feel like we're going to have probably another uh, public something starting up to host these new guests and tourists and people and stuff. Someone's going to see this as a business opportunity, and they're definitely going to try and pursue that. But okay, is Vea here? That's fair too. Hold on a second, where is Vea? I wanted to speak to Vea. That's Tamati. I think Vea left. Oh no, Vea's right here. Okay, well let's go talk to Vea. Let's spread conservation awareness and maybe discuss some work. Don't complain about work. Bright oh, 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 compliment is... A no, never mind. Okay, she was a little bit flirty, but never mind. Okay, well let's just talk to him. I feel like out of everyone, it makes sense that she actually has something with him. Even if it's just like 0.1% because he is a conservationist as well. And the only thing or quality she seems to like in people, or she seems to be willing to overlook the evil side of herself in, is the whole... Let's discuss work. Yeah, is pretty much the conservation side of things. So, H, do you want to fight? Okay, no, let's get to know! No, don't go away. He's always going away from us. Why are you trying to run away? Compliment his outfit. I mean, it's a little bit crazy, but I can see you tried. At least with the shirt. <laughs> um, discuss fitness techniques. Oh, he's self-absorbed. Ha ha ha. I feel like Shum is the type of person who appreciates the negative qualities in a person. Because that's something she can relate to. Let's talk about cooking. Let's talk a little bit about cooking. For lucky guys, she might just make another friend today. And I think that'll be quite exciting. Is that... No, it's not her. There's another chick that looks really adorable. Hmm, and I'm fairly sure her name's Melani. Okay. Deep con... con conversation? For a second, I was like, conservation? No, deep conversation! Right. Oh, look at star quality and stuff. Insider. Oh, ooh, ooh. This might be good for her. I think she's thinking mermaids. He's an insider on mermaids. Okay, I think we're going to try blowing that conch shell again because we do have a few other residents here. So she's going to step out, try blowing this conch shell. Nope, nobody seems to be inclined to get up and do that fishy thing. I moved too quick. I should have been more patient. No, I don't think so. She wants to go play in the rain. That's fine. That's fine. Go play in the rain. She's not too hungry. And I think Vea left. Oh, but Vea left. Oh, we're friends now. We have two friends. How exciting, guys. We have two friends now. That's so exciting. I never thought she'd have friends, but she has two. She has fed two, which was a little bit of a misleading friendship. But I think she knows now that he was a scam. 
<laughs> or maybe she just thought it's not like he said he was a mermaid she just thought he was but she realized that was misled and everything ah, which was just completely fine which is completely fine but you know what i feel as though we should probably return home why i have no clue i just have a feeling you should return home so i think i'm gonna get her she's gonna go back home and we are going to see what else we can get up to maybe actually she's gonna try she's got bills but i think it is like really early in the morning which is crazy but i think oh and it's raining too hmm i don't know if you, i was gonna say we should open up shop for a little bit but i don't know if she'd want to do that in the rain that is a little bit uncomfortable in the rain and it's raining really heavily too it might rain the whole day hmm that doesn't seem like a great idea okay well she's back home we'll get her to pay the bills grill up some chicken uh, and then i guess we can decide what to do from there on it doesn't have to be something too dramatic okay let's go pay it ourselves you can't afford the bills okay that's exactly what seashells are for Let's sell off this tulip shell and these snail shells. How much were the bills? 600 and something? Um, oh jeez. Okay, we'll sell off these. I don't want to get rid of a con shell. So, she's just going to have to open up shop for a bit. In the rain. Yes, I realize it's raining. But actually, she shouldn't have a problem with rain now that she's a mermaid. Maybe she'll actually really like. Oh, wow. Is she going to tend to the table from here? That's funny. She's like, yes, I don't want to deal with anyone. Please deal. Oh, that's funny. That sounds like something she would do. We're going to start um, a little bit of a sale. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> she's, she's selling from over at the, the barricade. She, she doesn't want people to come into contact with her. She doesn't want to go out. That's pretty cool, actually. So we'll see if anyone drops by. And who knows, while we're making some money off these customers, we might even be inclined to blow a conch shell. Vey is here. Vey, I think we know what's going on with you. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's raining and... It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, I've got Fetu, we've got Alika. Hey Alika, do you want to purchase something maybe? No? Look at that, she's kind of like a shopkeep. And it's really nice to trust them not to steal anything, but I guess that's island culture. Everything's really friendly and really, really honest. Okay. How you going? Oh look, you bought something for Four Simone. Did you buy a coconut? Seriously, sir, you bought a coconut? Well, let's stop the table. Okay. Oh, it's run out of space. Well, that's fine. Excuse me. Anyone else like to purchase anything? No? Yes, we have. We have a fellow male. We have H. This is a different H, everyone. A different H. It's stepping up to the plate. Is there anything that meets your fancy, sir? Out in the rain? The beautiful rain? Okay. What do we have to do today? Research conservation, take waterfall samples. Hmm. And we have Aleki as well. Hello, hello. Would you kind of say as wish to purchase anything? Um, maybe something that actually um, costs co costs a fair bit. Th that would be appreciated. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, nope. Well, she's chatting to them. That's good. I guess you need to chat with them, encourage a little bit. Oh, it stopped raining. Nice. It stopped raining. Well, she's kind of hungry now. So I don't know if they can still go on if she's not tending. She's going to stop tending. Oh, jeez, what was that? Something happened to my computer. I don't know what happened. Okay, well, she's going to go use the bathroom. I don't know if they can still purchase while she's off that. Maybe someone needs to be tending. But oh, well, that's fine. She's just going to go for a bit, and then she's going to grill up some chicken. Yeah, these guys are just talking here, which is... Hey, talk away, talk away. But we need to go and 
Let's grill up some chicken. Let's grill up some chicken. She is hungry. So she's gonna do that. Okay. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We don't have money for this. Okay, guys. We might just need to do something I didn't want to do. We're gonna have to sell one of the conch shells. It isn't a problem because, like, conch shells are always regenerating in these sands. So we're always able to find one or another. But... Does that make her happy? Oh. Maybe when she finishes grilling the chicken, she's gonna be happy. Yeah, that's gonna make her happy. And then she can eat some stuff up. Oh, look at him. He's talking about moving. Hmm, interesting. Well, once she's done with that, we might actually have to sell one of these shells. Hmm. Can't sell these samples. Yeah, I mean, she's got six, and each one is worth 200. So, we're gonna sell one. So that we can pay the bills, everyone. Did it. Done. Oh, I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> it's like, is he looking up his skirts? No, he's not. Okay, chicken is done. I think she's maybe going to step on inside and have some of that chicken. Yeah, it sale's about to be off. Oh, she's eating. And with that said and done, guys, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.